Hello everyone. Welcome to ServiceNow Vulnerability Release uh, Notes Series presented by myself, Sayyid Amar Mustafa and Dave O'Brien from the Risk and Security Team at Thirdera. This video uh, is part of our CD about reviewing the release notes about the new versions for security operation applications on the ServiceNow store. Today, we're talking about the feature 2023 release feature about watch topics, remediation efforts, remediation tasks on application and container vulnerabilities, as well as configuration compliance test results. Uh, all right, Dave, let's begin with the demo. Thanks, Amar. So I'm going to start off here in our vulnerability manager workspace. This is available to your vulnerability analysts for kind of an overall view of the health of vulnerability. And so what we see when we look at um, our uh, vulnerability manager workspace is a breakdown that's new, which is breaking down the watch topics for the different types of vulnerabilities. So I can see here I have host vulnerabilities. Um, specifically, this watch topic is on external facing assets. So it's a filtered subset of vulnerabilities, and I can kind of see how I'm doing over time. You can see I've got a nice straight line here, so I'm not doing very well in my sample data here. But the other thing we get out of this is the ability to then also see uh, watch topics for container vulnerabilities, as well as application vulnerabilities and misconfigurations that came over through configuration compliance. So it gives us a single uh, pane of glass to be able to kind of look at all of these in one instead of trying to, to go through and navigate out to the different applications. We have a single workspace to uh, see our health overall. Uh, we can also create new watch topics from here. Let it, it lets us choose which type of uh, vulnerability we want to look at, whether it's host, application, container vulnerabilities, or uh, configuration issues within config compliance. And um, then within that, we can filter down to just the subset of data that we want. Uh, if we're looking at one of our host vulnerability watch topics here, uh, we can also create remediation efforts, which um, are kind of targeted efforts to go and address um, a specific set of vulnerabilities, whether that be, you know, critical external facing assets or log4j or, you know, anything like that that's, you know, kind of top of mind, you know, focused effort to, to try and go and remediate. Uh, if we look at the list of records here, we also get to see um, breakdowns of all of the different types of um, vulnerabilities here. So I can again see just the listing of all of our host vulnerable items, application vulnerable items, container and config issues as well, um, as well as the libraries that those reference, um, such as the CVEs pulled in from the National Vulnerability Database, third-party vulnerability entries from my scanners, my CWEs, um, any of my app vulnerabilities vulnerabilities pulled in from, again, pulled in from scanners, as well as configuration policies and tests um, that are shown there as well. So the other thing that we can see is when we're looking at um, the kind of the remediation workspace, so this is our IT remediation owner, um, and looking at kind of how um, a group that is assigned vulnerabilities can start looking at that data. Amar, do you want to talk us through um, some of our lists that we have here for our IT remediation workspace. Yep, thank you so much, Dave. So in IT remediation workspace, this list view helps the users to, you know, have a consolidated view of all the remediation tasks based on different kind of vulnerabilities that could be application vulnerabilities, container vulnerabilities, and configuration compliance. So based on that, in the first here, we are looking at the remediation task that's assigned to my group, where you can group the list based on the record type. You could have a glance at all the application vulnerable items that are assigned to your group, anything that is post vulnerable items that are assigned to your group. So all of this can be visited in a single pane. So you're making sure that no time is wasted while remediating. Next, you can also group this based on risk rating also from this view at your workspace where you can make sure or prioritize your tasks based out of this as you can see we can see all the critical high medium and low risks here rather than navigating on your native ui in the workspace this all can be achieved similarly as you can see on the left hand side we do have the impacted ci's based on assigned to my group and assigned to me here also grouping can be done based on record type where you could have a look at all the application based vulnerable items or 
host-based vulnerable items available to you. Next, you could see the host vulnerable items assigned to me, assigned to my group. Then you have the application vulnerable items assigned to me and to my group. And certain examples of container vulnerable item configuration issues. And plus, you can also have a look at the exception request that you've made. When you request exceptions, all the exceptions or all the requests are available to you over here where you can track if it was approved, rejected, or is it sitting in still review state. Additionally, you do have something to create my list also in, in case you want to favorite or create a personal list. This is where you can create an add to your list. This way you can, you don't need to go to a native UI. You can follow all your lists while sitting in the IT remediation workspace. Thanks, Amar. One, one other thing that we get as part of this as well is the ability, because of that uh, remediation task table where we can see the consolidated view of all of our different types of remediation tasks, uh, we can also do some reporting on this. So here's an example of a, a heat map that we put together based on the type of vulnerability as well as the assignment group um, that's doing a sum of the, the count of individual findings within those tasks. So I'm looking at my heat map, kind of my, my highest thing here, I can see that um, my vulnerability response team has about almost 73,000 uh, vulnerable items that are host vulnerable items um, compared to just 324 application vulnerable items. We, they can, that can help them to focus on what things may be most important to work on. So thank you everyone for listening. Uh, be sure to watch out for our other videos in our release notes series and check out thirdera.com for more information about security operations and the entire ServiceNow suite.